Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the resolution which was moved by the Minister for Finance and Prime Minister of St. Lucia. And I agree with him, Mr. Speaker, that it is revolutionary. Although the member for Schwazel indicated that um, this government continues what other governments have done before, and I am sure it is not in, in, the, in the same way. And I know the Minister for Finance will clarify. But Mr. Speaker, before I continue, I wish for you to give me a few seconds just to congratulate um, the, the police. I want to join my colleagues in con you know, to congratulate the police, the revelers, the, 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 all of the team, the team members, the leaders, I want to pay special tribute to my colleague, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Member of Parliament for Castries South for his sterling leadership over the last few months in the carnival, the, 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 the Calypso and so on. We had practically an incident-free season. I want to also congratulate everyone, the band leaders, the, the, the creators, all those who have joined us here in the Parliament and those who made St. Lucia Carnival what it was. Julian Alfred, we have all expressed our joy, and I also want to, on behalf of the people of V4 North, congratulate her and wish her well as she continues. Mr. Speaker, I wish, before I, I say a few words on this resolution, just to say a very special thanks to the professionals, the medical professionals in St. Lucia, who over the, the years have attempted, and in some respects, very successfully, some of them have established medical practices, um, professional, very um, sought after services in St. Lucia, and they have provided a space for the people of St. Lucia to access high quality services. Mr. Speaker, many of them have established, whether it be at the private hospital or in their own private offices, and if you go around the country, especially in the Viewfort area, the, 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 um, the Castries area and so on, the north of the island, in the south of the island, you see more and more medical professionals establishing not just offices, not just the traditional doctor's offices, but you, you realize they're establishing services almost like mini hospitals. You go to establishments and you, you can see many professionals all at once, and you get a sense based on evidence that the doctors in St. Lucia, the medical professionals, whether they be providing dialysis services or other services, are really expanding their services, and this resolution will assist them in that regard. I recently returned, I returned from a, a, a trip, a tour of the new hospital which has been constructed in Guadeloupe. And Mr. Speaker, it is amazing to see the kind of, of equipment that they have over there. I'm sure in Martinique, neighboring Martinique, same thing, and you would think, Mr. Speaker, that it is just the skills, but it's not, it's not just their skills. We have doctors and professionals in St. Lucia who can do just the same. And as the Prime Minister said a while ago, what we are lacking is a lot of the equipment, and I know for, for a fact, Mr. Speaker, that even as we speak, there are medical professionals in St. Lucia who have applied for, for certain um, waivers who have applied to the cabinet and very soon I'm sure you will hear announcements of some very advanced services uh, that will be provided by them to St. Lucians. And so Mr. Speaker, when our people travel to, to Martinique or, or Guadeloupe or other countries, it is not because our professionals do not have the skills. There are some very complicated surgeries that are being carried out in St. Lucia. Not too long ago, a constituent of mine, God bless, his, God bless him a and his doctors, a constituent of mine just collapsed in his garden. A very good friend of mine, Mr. Speaker, and it was found that, that he had a very, um, he had some severe trauma in his brain. And Mr. Speaker, some time ago, when you hear things like that, you would not believe that there are medical professionals in St. Lucia, particularly one of them, Mr. Speaker, who who, you know, he opens up your skull, op you know, removes your part of your scalp, surgical procedure on your brain, and right now this gentleman is fine after, after surgery. So there are some very good examples of neurosurgeons and 
other medical professionals in St. Lucia who are sought after and who have really done well and who are developing um, medical tourism services in St. Lucia and also services for our own people. Even before I go into the details of the resolution, Mr. Speaker, I always like as Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs to encourage St. Lucians to not only check your doctor and your medical professionals very regularly, but also to carry out all your tests, your colonoscopy tests, your, all of your tests, especially as we grow older, especially us men, especially us, especially Mr. Speaker. Um, the tradition is that men don't, don't like to go to the doctors. The tradition is that, Mr. Speaker, the doctors tell you when a lady, any little ink the lady feels, doesn't matter where in her body, she's at the doctor, but the men, you know, we, we like to, you know, we macho and we, we don't want to go to the doctor until it's too late. So I always like, Mr. Speaker, to, to say those things and to say also that just as the government is encouraging the two point, us to contribute 2.5% for the health and security levy, I, when I speak to people, I always say to them, put a little thing aside for your health. Put a little thing aside just as you have your savings, put a little 25 cents, a little 50 cents, a little $2, $5, depends on what you're making, put something aside for your health. Pay the NIC, even though you are working for yourself, Mr. Speaker. Pay your little NIC, go to the NIC, self-employed people, you can do that, and put something aside for your health. Too many of us, I'm not the only one, Mr. Speaker, you, they come to you, people, people visit all of us and your relatives. When it's too late, dialysis, all kinds of conditions, when it's too late and then you realize some people, maybe through difficulty or challenges, they're not working, but those who can, those who can put a little something aside for your health. Those of us, Mr. Speaker, who help other people, if we can, who help our relatives and so on, if you can give them $20 and you can put a little extra five for them, put a little something aside for the health because all the doctors will tell you, most of us visit them, most of us quickly go when it's too late. And a lot of the, the diagnosis, a lot of the diagnostics can be done when we, we check things early. So I always like to say that. So Mr. Speaker, I support this resolution and just very quickly to let honorable members know why we need to do this and what role um, the various pieces of equipment play. We know about the CT scan, Mr. Speaker. Um, every, most people now know what's a CT scan and why we do it. It combines X-ray images from different angles of your body. So you want a CT scan of different parts of your body, Mr. Speaker. That's very, very important. And we, sometimes we take these things for granted, but not all of the doctors, most of the doctors would love to have access to the C, a good CT scan. And you know, Mr. Speaker, a good CT scan at the lower level would cost about 130,000 US dollars. So you can understand why the medical professionals would want to, to get relief so that they, to, they now can, can assist the people of St. Lucia. And endoscopy, that, that one, most doctors, most people, well, let me not say most, but many people who have gone to doctors would know what an endoscopy is. It's a little, a little tube with a small camera inside. It goes through your body, through your mouth, and, and the doctor can, can check. So it's important. No, no, no. I'm far from that. Far from Dr. Musa. But I think it's important for us to explain to the people what these things are. So that if we are going to wave that, say, Muna sa Pukisa no cafe, paske, ye porter pusi doctor and nisi kalti equipment sala. Arthroscopy, Mr. Speaker, we are also doing it for that. And one of the, although it's small, one of it um, can cost about 11,500 US. And it's a little incision. It's mainly for the joints to investigate the joints, Mr. Speaker. Arthroscopy. It's, it's mainly to, to, to investigate your joints. So from the word arthritis, arthroscopy is very important. And we also have, by, by the way, Mr. Speaker, while my colleagues, um, you know, tease me a bit, um, these, these can be found, you know, Mr. Speaker, you can just Google them. And I, I, I don't want to make anybody think about, you know, 
When we're in the parliament, we must encourage the people of St. Lucia while we speak to go check it out. Check what we're saying to make fact check us to make sure that what we're saying and we on this side we always give you the real thing. So the as we know the the, the hysteroscopy is from the word hysterectomy, from the word his you know it, it has to do with with the ladies and so on and to check. Um, we can go on and on the ultrasound, Mr. Speaker, echocardiography, ultrasound, you know, cardio has to do with what? With the heart, I, I spent 32 years as a teacher, so <laughs> cardio, cardio has to do with the heart. So that's very important, very important ultrasound. And our medical professionals are saying to us more and more, we are finding people in St. Lucia who are coming, who are having challenges with heart disease. So it's very, very important to don't wait until we have something to go check. Just like you do your normal checks, it's good to go to the, to the cardiologist and just check your heart check your, your heart to make sure everything is okay. A mammogram, I think most people are familiar with that. Um, many ladies have gone for the, the, the mammogram. Colonoscopy, and um, the, the, I think we need to, there's a little mistake I believe with the spelling there. So it should really be a colonoscopy. And again, that's another one many of us are afraid of. People tell you they don't want to do it. Especially men. For your, especially men. It's for your colon. It's a, it's a a, a piece of equipment that is pushed through your rectum and to check whether there are any issues there. Um, doctors use it to, to, to catch um, colon, colon cancer. No, your colon. Colon. Colon cancer. So that's very important. And again, Mr. Speaker, it is something I say that we need to popularize. A lot of those medical tests and so on, um, we are afraid. Um, me too, you know, Mr. Speaker. I was very, very afraid of those things, Mr. Speaker. Well, I've done almost all of these. <laughs> especially the prostate test, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker especially um, your prostate test for men. A lot of men are afraid. I have done all of it. And um, I was afraid at first, but Mr. Speaker, it is very important. I think as parliamentarians, the more we speak about these things, the more our constituents will feel comfortable to go and do it or do them. Because, Mr. Speaker, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we do not want to hear our constituents say it was, it was too late. Si mette sav. Si mette sav. A PSA test for, to test colon, um, the, the, not colon, sorry, but your, your prostate, um, to test whether in your blood there are, there are, there are signs and, and so on for colon cancer PSA. It's, I think it's about $50. 75 in some cases. But, but what is 75 or $50 or oh, every year? Let's do it. Because at the end of the day, if we catch it early, then the doctors are not me saying so, you know. Not me saying so. The doctors are saying, the medical professionals are saying, if we catch them early, then something can be done and, and our families can save a lot of money. So all of these pieces of equipment are very, very important. A fluoroscopy, Mr. Speaker, um, is to check your stomach and, and your intestines. And the MRI, everybody, well, not everybody, but most people know about the MRI because many individuals come to us for assistance to go to Martinique or to go to Barbados and so on. Even in St. Lucia, there are some MRI services. And I know, Mr. Speaker, that there are one or two local companies. One company has actually set, has, has set up the building and, and the, the equipment. Most of the equipment is here in St. Lucia already, and they are setting up the MRI machine. And I know that there are other medical um, professionals or businesses, and they are setting up the MRI. So I can see in the next few years, Mr. Speaker, St. Lucia becoming a hub for medical tourism, but most importantly, Mr. Speaker, yeah, most importantly, we see the, the private sector working um, hand in hand with the government and to see how best we can, it's not just government, the government by itself can never establish this medical lands, landscape, can never, no government by itself can do it. So we must work with the private sector, the medical professionals, um, those who are in, in, in medical, in the businesses, the, the people who make equipment and so on. What we want is, is for St. Lucians, first and foremost, 
to have the best medical care at an affordable price. So whatever we can do as a government, wave taxes, whatever we can do to assist the private sector, we will do. And Mr. Speaker, the, 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 troublesome, the, the troublesome one, which is an, really an endoscopy for the gastrointestinal and lower, upper gastro and lower gastro tract, Mr. Speaker, um, the, the cholangiopancreatography, really, what does it do? It's really an X-ray to treat problems of the bile duct and the, and the pancreatic duct, bile and pancreas. So again, Mr. Speaker, it's just a long word, but if you break it down, it's really, it's not difficult, you know? Just break it down. And I encourage all our viewers and members of parliament, once again, before I sit, Mr. Speaker, I encourage everyone to, to do all of your tests. Car Carnival is over and so on, you have a, a little, take a little two weeks, drink a lot of water and so on. Go to your doctor, do all of your tests, your prostate, your everything, your mammogram and so on. And at the end of the day, you will save money, you will save money and you will take better charge of your health. So I support this resolution, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.